Yo, what's up guys, Corn here, back for another video. Today we'll be playing Roblox Greenville once again. Um, actually, finally, it's been a while since I played Greenville, but there is just a huge update in Roblox Greenville, and we're going to be reviewing that update in today's video. So uh, if we scroll down here to the changelog, we have a completely new remodeled dealership. This includes an all-new parking lot layout, as well as dealership exterior and interior. The paint shop has been relocated to the left rear side of the building. Signs are in-game pointing to the correct directions. And a new interactive dealership worker job has been added. Help out incoming customers to find a car they like. Remember the specifications of the car they like and offer it to them. If you get it correct, you'll get paid 100 per car done in, uh, correctly. Specifications of cars are uh, on the lot are on the window stickers. Remember them for when you need to enter them uh, when you get back inside the dealership. They had a new Connors building that is the fictional uh, version of Culver's, um, which is located next to Hunty's Pizzeria, and it includes an interactive cashier job. Rim and color previews in the rim shop are now added. No longer do you have to worry about wasting money to see if your paint or rims fits your liking. I'm sure that'll come in really handy. A new redone neighborhood area called Lakeville includes a redone lively neighborhood layout next to Fox Mountain Bank. Added the Park Rangers team and cars. The Park Rangers building is the old fire department. Um, so that's pretty cool. You know, Park Ranger job. It's been literally announced at like the end of 20, like late 2020, I think, is when it was first announced. And it's here, like finally. So uh, yeah. And there was 45 new cars added. Uh, with some updated models in game with new trim slash rim slash colors completely remodeled slash retuned and 40 new rims have been added to the tire shop so uh, yeah and added pricing and window stickers to prop cars on the dealership lot accurate to what is optioned on the car prop planes now fly both ways across the map and apartments are now under construction in-game. Will be added in a later update this month. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, multiple new prop cars have been added. Added the bounce uh, to the Stuttgart. Uh, I don't even know how you say that, honestly. Um, top end SUVs. Press G to activate it at slower speeds. Multiple brands have car fixes with some sound slash lights. Um, slash some tunes on cars and fix more car bugs so uh yeah we're pretty much gonna play the game um and we're gonna look over pretty much everything so as you can see there's a fully redone dealership that plane is going a little fast man that's going like Mach 3 the heck but they do fly in both directions now um so yeah that's pretty cool but look at the dealership and the parking lot is way bigger too and it has a different layout curves there at the end so that's pretty cool and we got a sign here pointing at the paint shop. And as you can see, it's completely different in here. Um, you know, we have just a completely redone dealership. So we got just, there's just so many things. We got everything. Everything's new. Everything's new. But the new garage is back here um, in the other side of the building. So yeah that's pretty cool it's really big honestly got a lot of toolboxes here got a tire stack some vacuums um the lifts are right here with a lot of fans over there and some pictures on the walls so uh yeah that's pretty cool and as you can see those are the prop cars out there and they have um stickers on them that's honestly a really cool thing added to the game um so, yeah, we got it's the 2020 Toyota Tundra. Um, so yeah, it tells you the miles per gallons right there. 16 miles per gallons on this. And uh, yeah, that's honestly pretty cool um, that they added the stickers there. Anyways, we're gonna look in the dealership and look over briefly all the new cars. I'm not gonna obviously um, test all them out. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, so, press E here, buy cars, so these are all the new cars, we've got a Jeep Grand Wagoneer here, um, that's pretty cool, 
it's honestly really cool. Um, we also got the all, a whole bunch of Silverados. Some of them are just refreshes. Um, but uh, yeah, we have the 2500 HD 2006 Silverado here. Pretty cool. We got two new Bugattis here: the 2007 uh, Bugatti Veyron and the uh, 2015 Bugatti Veyron. Of course, very expensive, and I do not have nowhere near enough money for them. Uh, so, yeah, there's so many new cars here. These are the new Park Ranger vehicles. We got a Caprice, a Charger, and a Tahoe. And uh, yeah, the the new cars, honestly, they just they they go on for miles. And I definitely don't have enough time to review all them. We got the Telluride right there. Yeah, so can't review all of them. All right, we're going to go ahead and select the Roadmap Dealership Worker Interactive Job. And select Job. So now, if we sit down... Or wait, actually. Wait, let's see. What do we do? All right, so we got somebody. Uh, so they're standing by this car here. I think you click the thing. All right. Uh, base, five seats, base rims, silver metallic... Just have to remember that. Okay. So, and then they just follow me into here. So I think now we sit down here. Available cars. Model, uh, 2005. What's that? Trim. Base. Color. Uh, alright. And then the rims. Uh,. I think they're a base, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, we sold the car, so there you go. That's pretty much how you do that in an interactive job. Pretty cool that you can now work at the dealership in the game now. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, here is the new Connor slash Culver's right here. We can go inside. Yeah. So here's the new Connor's. Um, we can go inside. Very, very detailed on the inside. Pretty cool. Um, we got the menus right there. The kitchen. I believe is pretty similar to the McDonald's slash Burger King and stuff interior. Um, you know, the classic interior. So let's uh, let's become a Connors worker. There, select job. So let's see. Oh, it's me! Uh, Alright, uh, food. Boom. Drinks. What is that? that? So now we grab the tray, I think. Um, so we get the fries. And this was the drink he ordered. So now we place the tray right here. And boom. So there you go. So the interactive job is a feature with this one. This does have an interactive job. I'm just going to kind of just switch to, I don't know, anything. Um. I just don't want to be the Col Connors worker anymore. Uh, so yeah, man, this fire is still going on. It's been going on for a really long time. It's got to be a world record, man. But uh, yeah, it's really detailed in here. Lots of seating. Um, so yeah, pretty cool building. I'll do a bathroom review here. Oh! Yeah, these bathrooms are actually pretty well detailed. Got a cool like d disco, d dice. It's Dyson, but it's a Dyson Airblade. Pretty cool. We got toilets. Did they work? No. Rest in peace. The mirror doesn't work either. Neither do these things. But it is very well detailed. Very, very cool. So, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's it with that. So, we'll now move on to the next big thing, which is probably the park ranger job. Here we go. We have the uh, Greenville Recreation Department. We can select job. I'm going to get out the charger, I think, um, and the park ranger. So, the park ranger, um, area, or the park ranger department, is where the old fire department was, so, um, yeah, let's just go over there, and I'll see you guys over there. Here's a quick, uh, siren review. We only have one option for lights, but, uh... So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Got the horn. Manual. Um, I don't know what the shortcut to that is. But, uh... And then we got the spotlight. 
pretty nice looking spotlight if I do say so myself. So here's the old fire station right here, which is now the Greenville uh, Municipal Service Center, Public Works, Parks, Recreation. Wait, that's not a door. Where's the door? Oh, it's on the other side. <laughs> Alright, so pretty cool in here. As you can see, we've got TVs, got some art there, and here's the... For some reason, the gear and stuff didn't work. Uh, I have no idea why. Um, I don't know if my server was broken or what, but for some reason, they wouldn't work, so uh, yeah. Uh, that doesn't work for some reason. Um, we got some bathrooms there. Wait, is there like a million bathrooms? Oh wait, no. Just got some offices and stuff. See, I don't really think there's too much to this. We got a little uh, area in here. Huh. Is the fire still going on? So we'll now be looking at the new neighborhood. Um, I believe you just, uh, you know, just kind of go from the dealership there. You go this way. And... Um, continue going down the main road, I guess, uh, for a little bit, and, oh, yeah, nice driving. Brakes have heated quite a bit. So this is the Lakeville neighborhood, very nice, with a little lake right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool, um, nice little lake area right there. This house right here has a really long driveway. I'm not actually, let's actually buy this house, you know? Why not? So, so, so. So my car just kind of fell through the ground there. Um, so that was kind of a rest in peace moment. Um, I don't really know why my car fell to the ground. This house is pretty nice though. It's got a nice long driveway right on the farm there. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Also got this little area that kind of looks down at the lake. And we also got, it's like a, like a park right there. It's a nice little area right here though. Kind of just like a park. Um, and uh, yeah, we got a nice view of the lake. Pretty cool new little lake. Um, so yeah, so of course there is a new paint shop and such as well as the rims and the new Apartments which are under construction, but uh, I'm not going to be reviewing those in this video So uh, yeah, I'll link the game in the description if you guys want to check those out Anyways, I think that's pretty much gonna be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed um, Here wait actually this is some bad luck. It's pretty much gonna be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed um, hope you guys like the new update. Um, I personally think it is a pretty good update. The next update, I believe, is going to have the GVOS in it. That next update should come out fairly soon. Um, probably be the next update, which is phones. So, yeah, that'll be really cool. Definitely gonna make a video on that. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.